Welcome to our video. Is eating fat really bad for your heart? The goal of this video is to explore the common belief that consuming fat can lead to heart disease and other health issues, as well as reveal how certain types of fats can actually be beneficial for your overall well-being. Okay, let's chat about fats for a sec. There was a time when just hearing the word fat made people break out in a cold sweat, thinking they were on a one-way trip to heart disease central. Can you imagine stressing over every little bite, wondering if that bit of fat was going to be the end of you? Talk about a mood killer. Here's the backstory. Way back when, some studies popped up saying high-fat diets might up your risk of heart problems. Naturally, people freaked out and started avoiding fats like they were some kind of diet boogeyman. But the plot twist? Not all fats are the bad guys. Yep, they got lumped together, which wasn't exactly fair. Now check this out. Newer research is giving fats a redemption arc. Turns out, some fats are actually champions for your heart. They can help lower the not-so-great cholesterol and keep the good stuff in check. Plus, they're pros at calming inflammation, which, spoiler alert, isn't great for the heart either. So, before you give fats the cold shoulder thinking they're out to wreck your heart, stick around. We're about to dive deep into the fat world and bust some myths. Ready to learn and munch without the guilt? Let's take a deep dive into the world of fats and debunk some myths, shall we? Okay, let's get real about fats for a moment. You've probably heard that saturated fats are heartbreakers, right? This idea, dubbed the diet heart hypothesis, had a lot of us side-eyeing our cheeseburgers. But here's the kicker. This theory isn't as rock solid as it was made out to be. It was based on some observational studies that showed folks eating more saturated fats had heart issues. But let's remember our high school science lessons. Just because two things happen together doesn't mean one caused the other. Now, let's talk numbers. In 2014, a mega review looked at data from a whopping 49 observational studies with over half a million participants and 27 controlled trials with over 100,000 people. The big reveal? Eating more saturated fat didn't up the risk of heart disease or sudden drop-offs. And in 2015, another review of 15 trials with over 59,000 participants found cutting back on saturated fats didn't really make a dent in heart attacks or strokes. So, the plot thickens, right? Why the spike in heart issues over the last century if fats aren't the big bad wolf? Flashback to the 1800s, heart attacks? Pretty rare, but saturated fats in the diet? Pretty common. Fast forward, we're eating less saturated fats like cheese and meats, but our sugar, processed foods, and certain oil intakes are soaring. Coincidence? Maybe. And let's not forget our unsaturated fat buddies, the poly and monounsaturated ones. Yes, they've got the good stuff like essential omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids that our bodies crave. But, as always, there's a but. Too much of even the good stuff can be tricky for our heart. So, the takeaway? Balance is the name of the game when we're talking fats. Who knew nutrition could have so many plot twists? Okay, let's chat about the fats in our pantry staples, like nuts, seeds, and even soy. Fresh and natural? They're packed with goodies that our bodies love. But when they're mass-produced into vegetable oils, that's when things get a little dicey. Imagine taking a healthy fat and putting it through the ringer. High pressure, harsh chemicals, oxygen, even UV light. The end result? Fats like omega-6 can get all twisted and turned, losing their superhero status. Instead of helping us, they might just do the opposite. Here's a quick biology refresher. The outer shell of our cells, the cell membrane, is like a fat sandwich. Half of it is made of fats, and a quarter of that sandwich is filled with omega-6. So in simple terms, omega-6 is like the bricks and mortar of our cells. But what happens if we give our bodies the wrong kind of bricks? Our trillion-plus cells could start having trouble, maybe not getting enough nutrients or oxygen. There's another twist. These messed-up fats can play foul with our cholesterol. Once cholesterol is thrown off balance, heart attack risks can shoot up. These tricky oils can also fan the flames of inflammation in our body. And inflammation being the drama queen it is, can mess with our insulin game, setting the stage for type 2 diabetes. 
Given that diabetics have a higher VIP pass to heart issues, this is something we can't ignore. Yet what's wild is that we've often been told to pick these oils over the old school saturated fats. Makes you think, huh? All right, now that we've unpacked the vegetable oil saga, let me put another type of fat on your radar. Ever heard of trans fats? Maybe by its sneakier name, partially hydrogenated oil? This bad boy is created when vegetable oils are cranked up to high temperatures and get cozy with some hydrogen atoms. And where do you find it? Margarine, that popcorn you nuke for movie night, and lots of other processed goodies. Quick fun test. Lay out some good old-fashioned butter and a slab of margarine. Guess which one flies won't even glance at. Yup, the margarine. And that's gotta make you think, why have we been pitched margarine as the heart-friendly choice all these years? Now, science has dished out some tough love on trans fats. Here's the lowdown. It's like a wrench thrown into your metabolism. Fires up inflammation. Makes your good cholesterol take a dive while hiking up the bad stuff. It's tied to some not-so-fun health issues. Diabetes, piling on the pounds, heart problems, strokes, brain fog, dementia, and even the big C, cancer. With such a laundry list of concerns, the Food and Drug Administration, FDA, decided to give trans fats the boot. But, and there's always a but, it's still in the game if there's less than 0.5 grams per serving. Sneaky move? Some brands just shrunk the serving size to keep that trans fat in. And get this, even tiny amounts can hurt. If trans fats make up just 2% of your daily caloric intake, your heart disease risk shoots up by nearly a quarter. So here's your homework. Become a label detective. If you see hydrogenated on the list, it's a hard pass. But hey, not all fats are the villains of our story. Remember those good unsaturated fats? When they're all natural and untouched, they're superheroes. They've got your cells working like a well-oiled machine and keep inflammation in check. Plus, they're like a love letter to your heart. All right, let's dive into where you can score these fabulous fats. Kicking off our list is the Champ of Oils, extra virgin olive oil. Ever hear folks rave about the Mediterranean diet and how it's basically the secret sauce to living longer? Well, this oil is a big reason why. Check out what extra virgin olive oil brings to the table. Puts a lid on inflammation, keeps the bad cholesterol LDL from going rogue, lowers that pesky blood pressure, acts like a spa treatment for your blood vessels. One cool study from the Archives of Internal Medicine found that folks with heart issues who embraced a Mediterranean diet, loaded with olive oil, nuts, and avocados, had a much better shot at sticking around. In another curveball from the same journal, researchers pitted extra virgin olive oil, the good stuff that's cold pressed and avoids the spotlight, against sunflower oil, which kinda has a rep for getting roughed up during production. Those in the olive oil corner, their blood pressure chilled out big time and get this nearly half of them cut down on their meds compared to team sunflower oil. Lesson, not all oils are on the same team. To cash in on the health jackpot, Ensure yours is rocking the extra virgin badge. Next up on our health fat hit list, the beloved avocado, a Mediterranean diet MVP. These creamy green wonders are packed with monounsaturated fats. There's a stack of studies singing praises about how they might just be your heart's BFF. Take one study with 164 folks battling hypertension. Those feasting on a diet that favored monounsaturated fats had their blood pressure levels playing nice and cut down the odds of heart hiccups compared to the carb-loving crew. And just to sprinkle in another win, a 2001 trial showed that monounsaturated fats bumped up insulin sensitivity by a neat 9%. Given that insulin resistance is like that uninvited guest at the heart disease party, this is massive. Bottom line, don't skimp on those avocados. Slide them into your salads, smash them on toast, or just enjoy them as they are. Now, let's crack open the topic of nuts and their nutritional might. You remember the chat about omega-6, right? Well, if you're hunting for a power-packed source of undamaged omega-6 essential fatty acids, look no further than your favorite nut varieties. Walnuts? Check. Pistachios? Oh yeah, macadamias and almonds? You betcha. These aren't just tasty snacks, they're omega-3, 6, and 9 treasure troves. But here's the real kicker. 
nuts have been spotlighted in studies as little heart heroes with powers that might help fend off heart attacks and strokes. How? They're believed to beef up the particle size of LDL cholesterol, the infamous bad cholesterol. Particle size might not be something you chat about at dinner parties, but it's kind of a big deal in the world of heart health. Turns out, it's a more telling gauge of heart disease risk than just looking at overall cholesterol levels. There's been more than a few cases of folks with seemingly fine cholesterol numbers, yet they're still getting sidelined by heart issues. Who would have thought a larger LDL particle size? It's like a gold star on a heart report card, signaling things are running smooth. On the flip side, those teeny tiny dense LDL particles, they're trouble with a capital T, hinting at a bumpy road ahead for heart health. More and more heart docs are turning to particle size tests, believing they offer a sharper lens into the state of our arteries. Dive into the International Journal of Cardiology, and there's an eye-opening review that lays it out. If you've got low HDL, the good cholesterol, but a heap of these pesky small LDL particles, your ticker might be in for a tough time, no matter what your overall LDL cholesterol count is. The plot thickens with the discovery that these small LDL particles are a tad unstable. They oxidize easily. When they go rogue, they aren't just ineffective, but become inflammation instigators. And we know that inflammation is like kindling for heart disease. But here's where nuts play their ace card. Tucking into them might give those LDL particles a little growth spurt. Case in point, a 2015 study with pistachio fans showed that these green gems nudged LDL particles to grow bigger. And if you recall the earlier mention of the Mediterranean diet, nuts had another moment in the spotlight in a 2013 study. Participants munching on these crunchy delights saw a dive in the numbers of the tiny troublemaker LDL particles and a rise in the big, friendly ones. They even scored higher HDL cholesterol numbers, Plus, their waistlines shrunk, and that's good news when you consider a larger waistline's links to heart issues. So, next time you reach for a snack, maybe let it be a handful of nuts. Your heart might just do a little happy dance. Let's break down the fats, literally and figuratively. The saturated fat conversation is a tricky one. For years, saturated fats were vilified, accused of clogging arteries and being the bad boys of the culinary world. But recent research suggests it's time to take a fresh look. When you zoom into LDL cholesterol, the story gets fascinating. As we've touched on earlier, not all LDL is created equal. Those bigger, fluffy particles? They're like the gentle giants of the LDL world, much less worrisome for heart health than their smaller, denser counterparts. Enter saturated fats. Far from being the heart's nemesis, these fats, when sourced right, can be its ally. They can play a pivotal role in shifting LDL cholesterol from those tiny, problematic particles to the larger, less harmful kind. A 2010 study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition underscored this point. Participants kicked some carbs to the curb, replacing them with saturated fats. The result? Their LDL particles bulked up, hinting at a reduced risk of heart-related issues. But let's clear the air here. We're not giving a free pass to all saturated fats. Quality is king. If you're going to welcome more saturated fats into your meals, pick the good stuff. Think grass-fed butter, coconut oil, and top-tier meats. These aren't just delicious. They come bearing gifts, essential nutrients like energy, key players in hormone production, and facilitators for soaking up those oh-so-important fat-soluble vitamins. A, D, E, K, come on down. So. Let's not get sidetracked by that greasy burger from the local fast food joint, though. Processed and fast foods might also be packed with saturated fats, but they're often hitched with unhealthy additives and other no-good fats. The takeaway? Balance is your friend. A diet too skewed in any direction can lead you astray. But a well-rounded plate, featuring a medley of healthy fats, from monounsaturated and polyunsaturated to, yes, even saturated fats, can be a boon for your ticker. So here's your game plan. Review your food choices, prioritize quality fats, and stay plugged into the latest nutrition insights. Doing so won't just keep your heart humming, it'll set the stage for a vibrant, wholesome life. 
After all, health isn't just about dodging the pitfalls, it's about embracing the good stuff too. Isn't it fascinating how our understanding of nutrition evolves? Once demonized, saturated fats are now emerging as potential allies in promoting heart health. When combined with a low-carb, low-sugar diet, these fats can actually help shift the LDL cholesterol spectrum in our favor. A landmark study from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that a diet rich in saturated fats enhanced the particle size of LDL cholesterol, pushing them towards the less harmful, larger particle size. The winds of change are blowing in the dietary world. In 2015, after thorough review, the USDA Dietary Guidelines Advisory Committee waved goodbye to dietary fat and cholesterol limits. Still, reversing decades of contrary advice is no easy task. However, the ball is now in your court. I urge you to consider a diet that champions healthy fats. But remember, pairing high fats with excess carbs can backfire. So, embrace a balanced plate, one filled with vibrant veggies, quality proteins, and those heart-loving fats we've spotlighted. Now you're equipped with the real deal on fats. Dive into the comments below and share your favorite sources of healthy fats. If you found this information helpful, give this video a thumbs up, ring that notification bell, and don't forget to hit subscribe. We've got loads more health insights waiting in the wings for you. Here's to your health, happiness, and hearty meals.